Hey guys, Sheila here from Media Vandals. Today's video is going to be super, super short. Um, I'm going to walk you through how to use Google Drive to store your documents and then link to them or share those links through something like MailerLite so that when someone signs up to your newsletter and MailerLite sends them a welcome email, you can attach that file to, to the welcome email in order for them to download it. Now, things like MailerLite, most of them you can't upload your PDF to. You need to have an external source. And rather than purchasing some place like Dropbox or Amazon S3 to store those files, this video is going to show you how to use your Google Drive. So let's jump into my screen and we'll just get right at it. I'm on Google and as long as you're logged in, you'll see over in the right hand corner here, you'll see your logo or your face or whatever uh, you have set as your Google image. Um, and then right beside it, you see this, this square with nine squares in it. If you click on that and scroll down, you'll see Drive. So we're going to click on Drive and inside Drive, you will see all of your files. And if you have not uploaded your PDF to this yet, you're just gonna find it on your desktop and then upload it. Um, okay, so I have a document here called Our Process, and I'm just gonna drag it onto this screen from my desktop, and you see how everything lights up there. Uh, when I do that, I'm just gonna drop it, and you'll see it starts uploading here. Okay, so this, this file's uploaded, and I click the little X, and if I scroll down, I can now see Our Process right here, and if I click on it, uh, it will show me what the process is. So I'm just going to X out of there, and we're gonna right click on the document we just uploaded and go to get link and it will bring up this screen so as you can see right now it's set to restricted and google's going to do this automatically this is where you need to change so we're going to click on the drop down and we're going to say anyone with the link and then we're going to copy this link and hit done so now anyone with the link to this file can see it and to test it out i'm just going to open safari where i am not logged in because if you are logged in it's going to show you uh, that document no matter what because you're logged in. So by bouncing over to Safari, I'm not logged into Google and now I can test to see if that link works. So I'm just gonna paste that. There it is, there's the file. It showed me the file, I'm not logged in. That means it's perfect, my link is working. I can now download this file. So one more time, uh, go to your, uh, when you log into Google, click on those nine little squares up in the top right corner. Go to your Google Drive. You're going to drag your PDF into Google Drive. Right click on it and hit get link uh, and then you are going to change this from restricted to anyone and you are going to copy the link that it shows right here you will hit done and then you will paste that link into where your button is in your welcome email that is basically the steps you can see that there's not too much to it it's relatively easy to uh, figure out how to upload your files and change those share settings and then get the link that you will need to add it to your uh, newsletter or email marketing software or even just to share them with people through email or however you need to use those links to share files. Let me know in the comments down below if you've tried this out and how it's worked for you and we'll see you back here tomorrow. Cheers!